Thank you for that wonderful introduction, Paolo. Um, just to clarify, you know, I get I get called um, the guy who started OMG or the OMG guy a lot. Um, and like at first, I was like, no, don't. You know, what I mean, I, I can't take credit for that. You know, what I mean, it's all for the glory of God. I'm just a tool, a vessel of being used by Him. You know, OMG wasn't my idea. You know, what I mean, that idea, that thought didn't come from my own personal will and, and desire, you know, I mean, that was, that was all God. I give all the glory and credit for him. So please, let's give a clap offering for God, guys. Yeah, um, I wasn't really planning on doing this. It's a, it's a poem, spoken word, whatever it is. Um, I wasn't really planning on doing it, but I just brought it just in case it's like a backup. Um, and like, uh, yeah, we're, uh. We're almost at the end of our first half. So um, this is a poem that I, actually I performed this when OMG was still at its infancy. Right, this was, I believe, the third OMG um, that happened you know, in our area. Um, we're now up to our 18th, I believe, in November. It's gonna be our 18th, so this is old. Um, this is old, and at that time, like two, three years ago, uh, I was really um, burdened with a lot of things of how I viewed, um, Christians and Christianity and how how people who claim to know Christ would behave You know, what I mean did their lifestyles really reflect their claim that they know Jesus as their Lord and Savior You know, um, so that's a little background info for what for what this poem is going to be talking about It's a little old so I don't know if the, uh, the references might be a little dated So um, if you don't get it, if it goes over your head, just smile and nod um, That'd be cool uh, all right, let's see here. It's been a while actually since I've done a spoken word. Um, I, used to, I normally do on every OMG, but I've been on sabbatical for a while, so, so let's see how this goes. <clears throat> this is called When. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it on YouTube, but um, it's called When. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me read you a little something that I wrote. Please lend me your ears, I'm gonna try and keep this short. When does it all end? When do we begin? When are we gonna stop living and living and living our lives in sin? When? You know, as soon as we wake up before the girls even put on their makeup, our eyes are wide awake, and already some of us have made a mistake. How, you may ask? Just take a look at the very first test you took. Instead of opening up the Bible, you check your Facebook. You check your Facebook. The very first test you took, you check your Facebook. Why is it that we can stay up all night studying math? History, biology, but one hour is too much when it comes to Bibleology, the study of the Bible. We need to learn about theology, soteriology, eschatology. All these things are Bibleology. No wonder the world's telling us how our lives should be. All because we ain't reading our Bibles. What we need to do is start a revival. It's what we need to do for our spiritual survival. When? Does it all end? When do we begin? When are we going to stop living and living and living our lives in sin? When? We got young girls, or we got young men, trying to win a girl's heart, but they're living in sin, trying to get them to do things they know they shouldn't do. Kids these days, they, know, they think they know everything when they really haven't got a clue. We got young girls causing men to burn in the lake of fire, all because they're wearing inappropriate attire, thinking it will get them attention. But they have been deceived by the king of all liars. We got quote unquote Christians living two lives, two faiths like Harvey Dent. What we need to do is just get on our knees and repent. We got quote unquote Christians lifting their hands up in church, singing praises, shouting hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah. But come judgment day, when God's gonna say to you, get away from me, I never knew ya. 
I never knew ya. I don't care how many times you're saying hallelujah. Get away from me. I never knew ya. Why? Because we live in our lives in hypocrisy. I'm pretty sure that ain't why Christ died for me. Yeah, we keep living our lives in hypocrisy. We keep listening to hip-hop profanity, using God's name in vain. Man, that's just blasphemy. Bleep, 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 bleepity bleep this. Bleep, bleep, bleepity bleep that. OMG this and OMG that. Some of the words that come out of our mouths deserve a backhanded slap. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. No, I'm not playing. When we keep on sinning, the enemy is winning. When we keep on sinning, the enemy is winning. When we keep on sinning, the enemy is winning. And all for what? So we can feel like we belong. So we can feel like we fit in. Conform to the world. Go to parties, do drugs, smoke weed, start drinking. Compromising our walk with God and keep living in sin. We make excuses saying that we can't stop, won't stop, can't stop, can't quit. Can't stop, won't stop. Fall to your knees, drop, raise your hands up. We need to change our state of minds. We need to get in that Christianity mode. There's no easy way out. There's no cheat code. No up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, BA, start. There's no such thing as a Christianity shopping cart. I want this. Ooh, and I want that. I'll take some of this, but I don't want any of that. Ooh, I like this verse. Whoa, I don't like that. I'm going to follow this, but I ain't going to follow that. We find ourselves picking and choosing, but when we pick and choosing, we are using the word of God. We're going to strive to be obedient. Don't you know that God's omniscient? He knows everything we do. He knows everything we say. He knows everything that's going to come across our way. We're going to run this race. We're going to go we're running for. No one ever said that Christianity life is easy. Always remember we're in a spiritual war. Now some of us have yet to act. I encourage you all to get on the right track. Let God guide you. Let God guide you on your path and ask yourselves, when does it all end? When do we begin? When are we going to stop living and living and living and living and living and living our lives in sin? When? Praise God, guys. 